Hello dear Ammo CRM lovers and welcome back. In the previous video, you've learned how to check your lead base for duplicates. Now, let's get to the fun part. In this tutorial, you will learn how to merge duplicates manually. Let's say you've already pressed the pink tag inside a lead card and moved to the window for merging duplicates. So, here's what you'll see. In this window, you can select the data from each lead you'd want to keep after the two are merged. Let's take a closer look. Here, in our case, the left and central panels are the possible duplicate leads. And the fields you see highlighted in white are selected to be used for the final result. On the contrary, the right panel contains a preview of the final result after the merge. Let's see what happens if you press the ignore button. On doing so, the window will automatically close and the system will stop asking you whether these leads are duplicates or not. Hit the cancel button to close the window. Or tap the merge button to perform the actual merging action. Simple and logical, isn't it? But what if you choose to merge duplicates from the pipeline? Well, to do so, you'd need to go to the lead section. Click on the ellipses icon and press find duplicates. Do it the exact way we showed you in the previous video. But then what's next? You'll see almost the same duplicate window opened again. Now you'll first have to choose the date of the lead creation from the existing ones. Uh, let's select this one here. Then you have to choose whether to keep the existing tags and order details. Here, we decided to keep them all just to get the entire picture. However, if you choose to do the opposite, that's also fine. It's all up to you. Next comes the phone numbers. In our case, we've decided to keep both phone numbers intact until we contact the lead and ask them about their current valid communication channel. But if you already know which contact number of your lead is active, of course, you can remove the inactive ones to avoid any confusion amongst your teammates. Then hit the skip this duplicate button. Like the first merging leads window, this button will also close the current window and stop asking you whether these leads are duplicates. Again, like before, tap on the cancel button to close this window. Now, let's try to merge these leads by pressing the merge button. Ta-da! The merging process is complete. Finally, you see the data of the merged lead is neatly saved in the lead card, just in case you forgot about it. <laughs> so today we've got rid of unneeded duplicates in our lead base, and now you can do the same. In the next and last video, we'll teach you how to unmerge leads. So stay tuned.